for his alleged hate speech former MLA PC George had to spend not even two days in jail though he was arrested on Wednesday he walked out of the jail on Friday at around 7 p.m. after getting bail from the High Court the BJP workers who had gathered in front of the Pujapara jail in Tiruvanthapuram garlanded him and draped him with saffron shawls it was indeed a hero's welcome the other day BJP had given a similar welcome to Kerala Janapaksham leader when he was produced at the AR camp in Ernakulam shortly before being arrested. Talking to the media after his release, the 70-year-old said all this was Chief Minister Pendrai Vijayan's game plan and that he would be reacting to the CM's statements against him at bipole bound Trikkakara at Trikkakara itself on Sunday. Speaking to the media, George said, let the law take its own course. I will abide by the law and order in the state. I will sincerely work for BJP in the upcoming Trikkakara Bipole. The High Court on Friday granted bail to the senior politician who was arrested in two hate speech cases registered against him in Tiruvanthapuram and Ernakulam respectively. George confirmed that he would be campaigning for BJP candidate A.N. Radhakrishnan at Trikkakara. He further said he was grateful to the court for delivering him justice by granting him bail. Meanwhile, police will go ahead with the probe in the hate speech case, though PC George has got bail. The police intelligence wing has been asked to monitor whether he repeats the alleged offense. Investigators will collect his voice sample within a week as part of the probe. The fourth police in Tiruvanthapuram may soon summon George to the station to record his statement. In that case, he will be issued a notice asking him to appear before the police to collect the voice sample. The move is to scientifically prove that George had made the hate speech against Muslim community. He will be interrogated when he appears before the police for providing the voice sample. However, George has been maintaining that his speech was based on information he had received and that they were not his allegations. The interrogation will be based on this argument. Police also plan to record the statements of those who had attended the Anandapuri Hindu Maha Sammelan and make them prosecution witnesses. The team of investigators led by Fort Assistant Commissioner S. Shaji is planning to submit a charge sheet within two months. Meanwhile, Kerala government and the police are also proceeding strongly against those behind the rally in which a child was heard shouting hate slogans apparently against Hindus and Christians. By this, the chief minister and his home department may be trying to substantiate the stated stand that they would invariably take strong action against anyone who makes hate speech against any community, be it Hindu, Christian or Muslim. Music